بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه والتابعين لهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين In the name of Allah, the compassion of the merciful, all praise is due to Allah the Almighty and may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon his prophet Muhammad, his family, his companions and his followers all until the day of resurrection. I welcome you to this new episode of the stories of the prophets and today we are with the story of prophet and messenger Isa ibn Maryam alayhi salatu wasalam and this is part of one as my brother has already indicated uh, let me take you to a background on the subject since Isa alayhi salatu wasalam is the last of all messengers sent to Bani Israel. And according to uh, historians and some Mufassirin, uh, the number of prophets sent to Bani Israel were in thousands. Some of them uh, said up to 8,000 prophets. Many of them, many of them were killed or tortured or uh, uh, somehow uh, uh, abandoned and 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 they treated most most of them uh, treated most of the prophets so badly and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as you know the story of Bani Israel since we spent quite uh, uh, a long time with them with their prophets starting with Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam um, who is the father and then Yaqub alayhi salatu wasalam, who is uh, Israel, and then the children of uh, Israel uh, after, after him, and then you know, Yusuf alayhi salatu wasalam, and then Musa alayhi salatu wasalam, who was born and raised in Egypt, went to Median, came back to uh, Egypt to deliver the message of Tawheed to Fir'aun, and then what happened? You know, we, we told uh, the story of how this uh, took place and what happened to Bani Israel after they were saved from the torture and um, uh, humiliation of Fir'aun in, uh, uh, in Egypt and how they crossed into the desert of Sinai and then into the Holy Land or the uh, uh, land of Palestine and Beit al-Maqdis in particular. And then there, some uh, rule of Bani Israel started there, where it used to be like prophets ruling, messengers ruling uh, Bani Israel. So they used to have both uh, the uh, prophethood and the rulership as well at the same time. And that included Yusha ibn Nun, Dawood alayhi salatu wasalam, and uh, Sulaiman alayhi salatu wasalam. All of these uh, three and many others, but uh, uh, ruled and were prophets at the same time. So they were strong, particularly Sulaiman alayhi salatu wasalam, who was very, very uh, strong in personality, and he really was uh, having a, a very very uh, 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 powerful personality where Bani Israel were afraid to uh, uh, disobey him. That included either, even the jinn who were not uh, able because he, he would punish them and Allah would punish them according to the, uh, to the glorious Quran. Now from that, after the rule of Sulaiman wasalam, who ruled for uh, a number of years, per, probably around 40 years or so, and then a, a lapse of time really expanded with so many prophets, but there was no mention of these prophets. And these prophets actually were from normal people. It was not from like the descendants of Yaqub, Israel, alayhi salatu wasalam. They, they were just from the normal people. They, therefore, since rulership and king, kingship was not in the hands of the uh, these prophets so those 
uh, Beni Israel, as you know, who were very, very much in conflict and confrontation with um, uh, all the prophets, including Yusuf, um, Yusha, Musa alayhi salatu wassalam, uh, Dawood alayhi salatu wassalam, Sulaiman alayhi salatu wassalam. And the historian said that about 900 years passed between the time of Sulaiman until the time of Isa alayhi salatu wassalam. And this time where really uh, uh, Bani Israel uh, did so many terrible, terrible things, they uh, created some great facade um, on earth and they, um, they really uh, started to make uh, 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 polytheism or the association, uh, associated partners with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala committing theft, um, uh, riba, uh, mockery, all the evil things, abandoning, uh, 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 enjoining good and forbidding evil like Amr bil ma'ruf and nahi an al-munkar. And they, they were really so bad in, in, um, in their own uh, way of handling and treating uh, the prophets and even, even among themselves. That's why rulership uh, and kingship was taken away from them by the Romans. So the Romans ruled them for some time until Isa, alayhi salatu wasalam came in and it was time for uh, someone to come and complete this and and isa alayhi salatu wasalam is unique in the sense that he all of his life all of what he brought to them besides of course the concept of uh, presenting islam uh, calling to the path of allah uh, and the uh, oneness of allah worshiping none but him subhanahu wa ta'ala his life was so miraculous from the start till the end until even today it is a subject of great discussion and debate among the christians themselves with the jews and of course with muslims as well and let me tell you about uh, the the why the glorious quran talked about Isa alayhi salatu wassalam. In the, in the Sira, uh, uh, a delegation from the area of Najran. Now, area of Najran is in the southern part of Saudi Arabia today. It used to be part of Yemen in the uh, old times. And these people from Najran came to the Prophet, peace be upon him, and they wanted to uh, to really uh, discuss with him and talk about uh, uh, Isa alayhi salatu wasalam because they were Christians and they uh, believed that Isa alayhi salatu wasalam was either God himself Allah or was the son of Allah and did not believe in his messengerhood. Now when they came to the Prophet sallallahu and even talking about his own according to the to the word uh, when you take my my soul, that is the literal meaning of tawafaytani kunta anta raqiba alayhim, meaning that um, Isa alayhi salatu wasalam did die. And according to the Christian belief, as you know, he died on the cross. He was crucified. But of course, the Islamic position is so clear on this that he was raised to heaven by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and was saved from the plot made against him in order to save him. But between his own conception in the womb of his mother until he was raised to heaven or to the, to the, uh, to the sky uh, away from, the, from earth and coming back later at the end of time before the day of judgment, of course, many things took place. Let's start with the very, very interesting uh, uh, conception of, uh, of Isa alayhi salatu wasalam. Now Isa is from the family of Imran. Now the family of Imran is from Bani Israel. They, are, they were very, very pious 
They were great worshippers. They used to worship in Al Masjid Al Aqsa, which was built by Sulaiman alayhi salatu wasalam in the uh, the renovation of uh, of the uh, Al Masjid Al Aqsa, and some of them used to just devote their lives for worship. And uh, Imran himself was of this type. The whole family of Imran, Imran and his wife, also the uh, 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 brothers and sisters of Imran, Al Imran, all of them were really into that type of devout Muslims at that time who used to devote their time for worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now, uh, uh, Imran and his wife uh, uh, did not have any, any children. And he was getting old and he, uh, his wife uh, saw a bird uh, feeding its own little bird its own little uh, uh, baby uh, uh, some food and she was eager to have the same and have have a child to nurse a child to uh, uh, care for and also to devote that child for the service of the masjid and the uh, service of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that was the case and she uh, both the, she and, and Imran uh, prayed to Allah to do that now uh, after some time, she got pregnant, and even she had a sister who, has, uh, who was also eager to have uh, a child as well. And the, uh, her sister, I mean, uh, 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 no, let me, let me go back. Uh, her sister or her daughter, uh, let's talk about this later on, but the, peri- the, the point is uh, she conceived uh, a baby, and then after some time, the um, uh, she uh, she gave birth to that baby, and that baby was not uh, a male as she wanted because normally uh, uh, they were interested in um, in uh, in males in order to uh, serve very well. They have this physical power, and they can manage to go and 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 serve people and serve the place very well. So they wanted that to take place. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala instead uh, gave her uh, a female. And now once she, uh, she, she, she realized that it was a female, she even devoted her for the service of the masjid and being uh, a devout Muslim not to go to get out of the place, but only to devote her time for the salah and tasbih and remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That was the case. That was the case with Maryam uh, uh, alayhi salam. Uh, now, in Surah Maryam, Allah told us about the story of Maryam and how she really uh, 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 later on conceived. But then Maryam herself, Maryam, because she was named by her mother, the wife of Imran, Maryam. وَإِنِّي سَمَّيْتُهَا مَرْيَمْ وَإِنِّي أُعِيذُهَا بِكَ وَذُرِّيَّتَهَا مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ الرَّجِيمِ The, the ayahs are very, very uh, nice and, and, and clear in this, in this regard. إِنَّ اللَّهَ اصْطَفَى آدَمَ This is in Surah Al-Imran. إِنَّ اللَّهَ اصْطَفَى آدَمَ وَنُوحَ وَآلَ إِبْرَاهِيمِ وَآلَ عِمْرَانَ لَعَلَ الْعَالَمِينَ ذُرِّيَّةً بَعْضُهَا مِنْ بَعْض uh, and the family of Ibrahim and the family of Imran over all mankind, offspring one of the other. Allah is a hearer and the knower. Uh, as uh, the, the wife of Imran said, my Lord uh, Rabbi, I have vowed to you what is in my womb dedicated. So accept from me, you are the hearer and the knower. Innaka anta sami'ul alim. When she gave birth to her, she found that she was a female, as we said, and she was seeking Allah's uh, refuge for her from the uh, uh, normally every human being born, uh, they would uh, they would be uh, uh, somehow inflicted by the whispering 
um, uh, of shaitan, but she asked Allah to uh, protect her from the shaitan. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepted that and accepted that offer that she would be dedicated for the, uh, the service of the masjid. And he raised her in a very good way. And he even uh, uh, gave her protection and, and care to Zakaria. Zakaria himself, alayhi salatu wasalam, was a prophet at that time. And from Sulaiman until uh, Zakaria, there was no mention really of, of uh, prophets, um, except very few uh, mentioned in the glorious Quran. So basically it was like Zakaria and then his son Yahya. And Zakaria himself had a similar story because Zakaria was the husband of the sister of the uh, 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 of Maryam. Now, Allahu A'lam, the name was probably Ashia, and uh, since he was the uh, uh, husband of her sister, uh, they asked him to uh, uh, really. He was he was he was uh, a man at that time, and she was a child, and Allah gave the care for Maryam to uh, Zakaria because Zakaria again was a prophet. He was devoting his time again for the service of the masjid and a great worshiper himself. Uh, so look at this connection because um, again uh, uh, in Surah Maryam, Allah started with the story of Zakaria before the story of uh, Maryam and Isa. And the reason is because Zakaria is, is older, uh, was older, and Zakaria was uh, the caretaker of Maryam, and Zakaria was a prophet, and Zakaria even uh, uh, asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, since he saw that uh, uh, the uh, uh, mother of, uh, uh, of uh, Maryam uh, had a child, she, uh, he said, well, uh, um, I myself is interested in having a child. He and his wife, because they were growing very old, and he, he was really reaching a very, very advanced uh, age again with his wife. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave them this miracle of having a child at a very, very advanced age. And, and look at this. Kafaya Ayn Saad. When you mentioned the, uh, the remembrance of uh, uh, the blessing and the mercy of uh, uh, his, his slave, meaning uh, the slave of Allah, uh, Zakaria, when he called upon Allah, called upon his Lord, in a very low and humble voice, قَالَ رَبِّ إِنِّي وَهَنَ الْعَظْمُ مِنِّي وَاشْتَعَلَ الرَّأْسُ شَيْبًا وَلَمْ أَكُمْ بِدُعَائِكَ رَبِّ شَقِيَّةً And he said that I'm very weak and uh, my hair has grown white and uh, I am not going to be, uh, uh, you know, uh, in distress or uh, unhappiness with your own, with, with dua for you or to you, my Lord. And وَإِنِّي خِفْتُ الْمَوَالِيَ مِنْ وَرَائِهِ He was afraid that the ones who would come behind him would not carry the message um, if it was not from uh, his own descent. And he was, he was really caring for the service of the deen and to continue uh, 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 introducing uh, tawheed and, and da'wah to his own people. And he said, his, his, uh, uh, his wife was barren. And uh, he said, فَهَبْلِي مِنْ لَدُنْكَ وَلِيَ And give me out of your own uh, uh, a supporter, يَرِثُنِي to inherit me, وَيَرِثُ مِنْ آلِ يَعْقُوبِ And to inherit from the family of Ya'qub, وَجْعَلْهُ رَبِّ رَضِيَ And make him, uh, uh, oh my Lord, uh, 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 a pleasing uh, person or someone who is uh, pleasing you and pleasing his parents. See, that is when Allah gave him the uh, bushra or the glad tiding that he will give him a child, a male child, and he named him Ismuhu Yahya, and his name will be Yahya. No one was named Yahya before Yahya, the son of Zakaria. He himself now 
is wondering, he said, uh, how could I have a son? And my, my wife was barren and I was advanced in age. This is what Allah says. Your, your Lord has said, uh, it was easy for, it, for, for me and I created you from uh, before and you were nothing. So if I was able to create you, uh, I can create someone like you uh, or create a child for you. He was very, very eager and very happy. And he said, I need a sign that, yeah, you accepted, Ya Allah, my own, my, my own uh, dua and uh, you'll grant me, a, grant me a son. And he said, The sign for you is not to speak to people for three nights all together or three days all together and exactly that's what happened he was a not able to speak to people although he really was able to make tasbih and make dhikr but when it comes to communicating with people he was not able to and that is again another miracle that took place and that was just to prove from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make him more comfortable, more happy that Allah has answered his dua and Allah is guaranteeing or, uh, you know, going to get him uh, a, a boy by the name of Yahya. And then when he was born, he said, He came out of his own mihrab or place of uh, seclusion where he used to, to make worship. And he said, uh, tasbih, just, just really, he was uh, addressing them, advising them to make tasbih in the morning and in the evening. So that was the story of uh, Zakaria and his own son, Yahya. Now, Yahya and Zakaria are cousins because they are the uh, uh, Zakaria and Yahya and, and Isa, I'm sorry, yeah. Isa uh, and, and Yahya are cousins because they are the sons of two sisters. Or, wallahu a'lam, if um, Zakaria was really the husband of the mother of Maryam and not the sister of Maryam, he would be like, uh, 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 you know, he, he was, it was like uh, uh, Zakaria is uh, is uh, is really uh, sort of uh, uh, the husband of the uh, uh, aunt of uh, of Isa alayhi salam nonetheless uh, the uh, majority of scholars said that they were cousins and uh, that's how how this this whole issue started now that's an evidence first and and and, and a favor from Allah to uh, uh, Al-Imran, the family of Imran. Now, again, Maryam was devoted uh, to the, to the uh, masjid and to the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. She was devoutedly uh, putting all the time in the ibadah and she, uh, she, was, she was doing it, mashallah, day and night and not even talking to people. And, and she was really known among people for her chastity, for her great manners, for um, not interested in any uh, materialistic gain or addressing things that normally people do. And uh, subhanAllah, uh, if, you, if, if you go uh, to, uh, she, was, she was raised, uh, subhanAllah, as we said, uh, uh, in that great manner, as, uh, as, as uh, subhanAllah, uh, Zakaria, when he was taking care of her, she, she really had that uh, 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 personality. And he, uh, he would even find some rizq or providence uh, food that is uh, uh, with her in, in the same place. And he said, Ya Maryam, Maryam, where did you get this from? She said, in huwa min indillah. This is from Allah. In Allah herzuku may yasha'u bi ghayr al-hisa. Very Allah provides for uh, whom he, uh, whom, whomever he wants without, uh, you know, uh, boundaries, without reckoning. It's just, just 
giving out of this. And uh, according to some uh, Mufassirin, this meant that he, she would have like uh, uh, fruits all the time, the fruits of winter found in the summer and the fruits of summer found in the winter in her, in her own seclusion or mihram, place of worship. So, and uh, even, subhanAllah, she, uh, she was, uh, as, as, as the Quran said, وَإِذْ قَالَتِ الْمَلَائِكَةُ يَا مَرْيَمُ إِنَّ اللَّهَ اصْطَفَاكِ Even the malaika were addressing her uh, that Allah has chosen her, has uh, purified her, um, and has chosen her over all the women of the world. Uh, she was a woman of great character. In fact, she would be like a master of all women in the world, starting with Maryam alayhi salam, Asiya bint Muzahim, uh, uh, the wife of Fir'aun, and uh, Khadija bint Khuwaylid, and Fatima, the daughter of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. These are the uh, four best women of the world, uh, along with Aisha, the wife of the Prophet alayhi salatu wasallam. But uh, in many hadiths, there is uh, a mention of all these four women to be the best of the women in the world um, because two of them like they because they took care of, of prophets uh, remember uh, uh, Maryam raised Isa alayhi salatu wasalam. she gave birth to him she raised him she took care of him until he he, he grew up uh, the same thing with uh, Asiya who took care of Musa alayhi salatu wasalam, and until he became uh, a man and was given the prophethood and she believed in him later on and his message and also uh, Khadija supported our beloved prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam and Fatima who was very very close to her father peace be upon him and she was the one who was left behind from all her brothers and sisters because all of the uh, uh, children of the prophet peace be upon him died before he died except Fatima so you can imagine the grief that she had um, after the death of the Prophet, peace be upon him. She le was left like lonely, but then she knew that she will be following him. And after three, uh, six months, she followed the Prophet, peace be upon him, um, as she died after, after him by the period of about six months. Now, uh, Maryam had that great position and she, the, the angels even wanted her to purify herself even more. Uh, uh, they said to her, Ya Maryam, Maryam uh, devote yourself for Allah uh, uh, and uh, devote, uh, uh, be devoted to, to your Lord and bow down and kneel with those who kneel. Like uh, make ruku' and sujood in, in salah and in submission to Allah. So uh, then, they gave her this glad tiding and they prepared her. When the angels said to her, O oh Maryam, uh, uh, Allah gives you good news of a word from him. And that word is be, just kun, and it will. And his name is the Messiah, Jesus, peace be upon him, son of Mary, well esteemed in this world and the next, and one of the nearest to Allah. And uh, even uh, they were giving her some, this, this glad tiding, and uh, she was really uh, amazed at this. And she knew that she's going to go through a, a test. How could she be given a child. She didn't imagine what kind of a child and how it's going to be uh, done. And then that brings us to the story of her uh, birth. Now, interestingly enough, I will not continue the ayahs here uh, because the ayahs talk about different uh, stages in the life of, um, of Isa alayhi salatu wasalam. But let's see in uh, Surah Maryam, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the glorious Quran, وَذْكُرْ فِي الْكِتَابِ مَرْيَمِ This is to remember uh, uh, and mention in the scripture, Maryam, إِذْ تَبَذَتْ مِنْ أَهْلِهَا مَكَانًا شَرْقِيًّا Now, she secluded herself 
uh, uh, and withdrew from her people to an eastern uh, location away and she screened herself away from them devoting herself for the for the worship of Allah uh, so that she uh, and then in that place away from everyone else she was approached by the angel Jibreel alayhi salatu was salam and then uh, uh, as Allah said, فَأَرْسَلْنَا إِلَيْهَا رُوحَنَا We sent our spirit, meaning Jibreel alayhi salatu was salam, فَتَمَثَّلَ لَهَا بَشَرًا سَوِيَّةً He really uh, came into the image of a very beautiful and full human being. So at least she would not be afraid of the shape and the huge size of, uh, of Jibreel alayhi salatu was salam. Now she thought he was... Uh, um, a human being, and she said, Inni, uh, you know, she was afraid, she was alone, she was never been approached by a male, and she said, Inni a'udhu bil rahmani minka in kunta taqiyya. I take refuge from you in the most merciful, should you be a righteous in kunta taqiyya, and if you have piety. And then he comforted her and said to her, Innama ana rasul rabbik, I'm only a messenger from your Lord. So I can give you a gift from uh, of a pure son, that is a pure and purified son from Allah, as she was approached earlier by the angels, at least they inspired that to her or talked to her directly. Now she uh, at least uh, thought of the idea, she at least uh, was uh, assured that he was not uh, interested in her as as a, uh, as a woman when, when he's a man and he's a man but rather he is for something greater than that and she started to say how could I have a a, a son uh, when no man has touched me and I was not I was never unchaste she, she never had these stories. She, she was never approached by, by a, a man. But again, Jibreel gave her the comfort and said, This is the way Allah has said. So it was determined by Allah. It was easy. Just the same thing that happened to Zakaria when he was amazed that his wife would, would uh, uh, conceive a son. Now the same thing is with Maryam. He will be a sign from Allah for humanity and a mercy for us, a mercy from us, and this is already a, a, a matter that was decided. So there is no choice. Now, what happened? She accepted that. And um, According to uh, some other ayahs, again, awesome uh, historical records by Mufassirin, Jibreel blew in her bosom, just like here in the, uh, under, under the, uh, the neck. And once he blew into that, that means that will be the spirit that will make, uh, make her conceive Isa, alayhi salatu wasalam. So, she started to have pregnancy and um, uh, she carried him and then um, she took him to a way she, she, because she, she doesn't want people to recognize this and to see her. Yet what happened as she, as she was, was uh, in the period of pregnancy and Allah knows that it could be like immediate pregnancy and, and, and delivery or, and birth or the normal time, like nine months, eight months, according to different sayings of uh, Sahaba or um, scholars like Ibn Abbas, Ali, uh, radiallahu anhu. Anyway, she, uh, during that pregnancy, in fact, she was noticed by uh, some of her relatives, including Zakaria himself, and also uh, one of her cousins by the name of Yusuf, Ibn Yaqub and Najjar, Yusuf the carpenter, uh, or Joseph the carpenter, who actually noticed that her tummy uh, 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 started to grow, and he said, 
um, what happened, uh, uh, Maryam, are you, are you pregnant? She said, yes, I was, uh, by the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I am pregnant, but uh, with no manning, with no man touching me, and, and the same thing with Zakaria, and even her uh, 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 sister, noticed that when she, again, at the same time, was pregnant with Yahya, so Yahya and Isa were cousins, but were almost like uh, uh, at the same age. Um, they they were both uh, uh, were in the uh, wombs of their mothers just about the same time, and uh, uh, the story goes and, and and then rumors somehow started to although this was this was a bit within the family and, and just only within the circle of the family of Al Imran and the uh, and they they were this matter did not spread very much. Uh, within the community. But now, uh, when she was out, and then uh, uh, the time came for uh, labor, and she, of course, out of the pain of labor, as, the, as, as uh, women uh, know and experience, she held to uh, a trunk of a palm tree, and uh, uh, she was holding to it and she said now what is happening and uh, she said I wish I had died before this because she was afraid of the disclosure she was afraid of the saying of people that oh uh, Maryam committed this uh, 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 zina or fornication and with a man and she uh, said uh, I would uh, and I, I wish I had been uh, completely forgotten uh, Nesia uh, Mansiya, she was really having this uh, uh, trial and, and, and hard time. But then uh, someone uh, called her from beneath. Now, either she was holding to, to the trunk of a tree and then someone on the ground, normally this is Jibreel or an angel, Nadaha called her from under her, Allah Tahzani. You shall not grieve. Just it, Allah has made it um, easy for you and prepared everything for you. Um, so there will be a stream or river under you. And, uh, and if you uh, shake the trunk uh, of, the, uh, of, the, of the palm tree towards you, it will drop ripe dates. Uh, by you, so it will bring you ripe dates, and ripe dates are good for uh, delivering women. And uh, the point is, you are doing a great job, something that Allah has chosen you for. So eat, drink, and uh, be consoled. Uh, there is nothing to fear. There is nothing to grieve about. Um, and Allah told her, or oh, this angel. Was, was saying to her, that is of course by the commandment of Allah, أحداً, if you see uh, any human, say, I have vowed fast to the most gracious. أكلم... I will not speak to any human uh, uh, being today. So that is the way uh, if she is really fasting, and it used to be like a worship of fast, um, which is to avoid uh, probably food and, and speaking to people as, as a sign of worship. Now, she passed through all of that, and she uh, gave birth, and she was fine, and finally she, she put the uh, new baby, Isa, alayhi salatu was salam, uh, in, in some clothes. She uh, rolled him in those uh, clothes, and she, she brought him. And she was she she came to her own people carrying him, and they said, "Ah, now people are seeing her walking in the street." Oh, Maryam, yeah, Maryam, oh Mary, you have done something terrible. لقد جئت شيء فريا. Ya أخت هارون. Now they're they're reminding her of one of her brothers by the name of Harun, and it's not Harun the the brother of Musa because that was a long time, as you know. We said. 
between Suleiman and Isa about 900 years. So what you could imagine between Musa and uh, Maryam, over a thousand years. So it would not be Harun alayhi salatu wasalam, but rather because they used to call uh, their own children with the names of uh, uh, earlier prophets. And uh, they said, re they remind her, now, Ya Ukhta Harun, you, the mother, the, the, the sister of Harun. Ma kana abuki. Your father was not uh, an evil man. Ma kana abuki wa'asawin. Wa ma kanat ummuki baghiya. And your mother was not and chased. Subhanallah. She was not, sorry for the word, uh, uh, a whore. <laughs> yeah, they, 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 they said, your family is, is a purified family, a very chaste and good family. What happened to you? This is like a, a, a covered accusation uh, of uh, Maryam. And uh, she did not speak, but only she pointed to him because she knew that he would speak because either he spoke to her when, when he was in the womb and she was about to give delivery to him, when he called from underneath, either it was, a, it was the, um, uh, the angel or it was Isa himself who spoke. But I think it was most probably the angel according to the uh, most of the Mufassirin. And then uh, it was the first time that she knew that Ha, that uh, Isa would be would be would be talking. She 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 pointed out to him, or either she said, "Well, he, talk to him, talk to him." How could we? Uh, uh, how can we speak to an infant in the crib? He's in the cradle. How could we talk to him? Now came the second miracle. The first miracle is that he was born without a father. It was just only a blow by, uh, from the angel, and Allah gave him, uh, uh, created him with, uh, with the word be. And he said, Inni Abdullah, I am uh, the servant and the slave of Allah. Al -kitab, he gave me the scripture, and he made me a prophet. Look from his own childhood, infancy, he was addressing people. And he made me a blessed uh, person wherever I may be and has enjoined me prayer and charity so long as I live. And a kind to my mother and he did not make me a uh, disobedient rebel and peace is upon me the day I was born, the day I will, I will die, and the day when I uh, uh, be resurrected, the day I get resurrected alive. Subhanallah, these are the, the very difficult and, and turning points in the life of anyone. The time when they uh, are born because as you know when they are born to a new world changing from one place to another from the womb to the outside world they started crying because this is a new thing uh, that they are witnessing and again the time when when it's time to depart from this world and and the soul be out of the body that's again is a very very hard time and the the, the day uh, a person is res resurrected from the grave to be uh, to hold the uh, uh, reckoning uh, and accountability. That is again a very very difficult. But then uh, Isa would be saved from all of this by saying "Wassalamu alayhi and peace uh, would be and is upon me uh, in these three times. Isa ibn Maryam. This is Isa, the son of Mary. The uh, uh, the uh, word of truth about which they doubt or dispute they, 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 uh, they, uh, they doubt uh, that is for the people who, who were coming to the prophet peace be upon him from the delegation of the Christians from the area of Najran and he, this is the answer um, long answer in Surah Al-Imran in Surah uh, Maryam uh, telling 
these people and even uh, giving more of, uh, of, of something that people never uh, uh, knew before, or at least they did not know the truth about uh, Isa والسلام, Allah is giving them uh, these details about the creation of Isa والسلام. and Isa as you know uh, uh, came with this great message Rabbi, ma kana lillahi. Allah is saying ma kana lillahi min walad. because the fact that he was created without a father could not be conceived by some people from Bani Israel themselves. He was, a, he was sent to them, but they could not just imagine how would Allah send uh, or create uh, uh, a child from no father when every child they saw was born from a mother and a father. This is the normal way. And we know that, uh, subhanAllah, had they thought about the creation of Adam, the first human being, he was created from no father and no mother. And the creation of Eve, she was created from a father or a male and from no female. And now uh, Isa والسلام, was created from a mother, but not from a father. And everyone else is created from a father and mother. So there are four ways of creation for human beings um, in this life. And uh, Yes, it is miraculous to have that kind of birth, but it's not more miraculous than the, the uh, birth of both Adam and Eve. Uh, but these people did not think. And uh, even they had these, this argument about uh, Isa a. and the, some of them really uh, uh, were amazed uh, at this personality, although he, he was again uh, a purified person. He uh, did not commit any wrongdoing in his own childhood. And he, uh, Maryam was, was, was uh, fearful for his life because she said that uh, she, she really uh, was, was fearful that someone would uh, do harm to him um, and because she knew what Bani Israel were doing to earlier prophets. And they, she realized that he's uh, a prophet uh, from Allah. And therefore, she took him in childhood, probably, Allahu alam, according to some historians, to Egypt, and she brought him back to the area of Elia. Now, we know that he was born in Bethlehem, or Beit Lahm, uh, which is close to uh, Jerusalem, or Beit al-Naqdis. Uh, it was not like four or six uh, uh, miles away. It's not really very far. And uh, she knew that he was uh, up to something, and he stayed... Uh, in his childhood, uh, again, having all these uh, new miracles that Allah gave him, subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah gave him so many great favors and abilities by his own permission. And, and, and he was never thinking of himself to do this out of his own, but rather by the permission and the help of Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, like healing the, uh, 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 the blind, and healing the leper, um, and also raising people from the dead by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He was able to bring some people back to life, not uh, just to, to, to live again, but rather just to let them come back to life, say something, and then uh, go back to death again. Because, uh, uh, and it happened in, in several uh, times where uh, he wanted to prove to people that he was able to do that even even he would create uh, a, 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 you know like new birds who can which can fly as he said meaning by the permission of Allah he would uh, form uh, uh, the image of a bird or fashion uh, an image of a bird and then he would uh, uh, blow in it and then it becomes a bird which can fly by the permission uh, of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So these were miracles only to prove to Bani Israel who were far, far away from the truth, who were really involved in all these 
terrible and miserable acts of disobedience to Allah and associate partners with Allah to uh, commit uh, zina and riba and all these terrible uh, uh, and, and major uh, sins and yet still not many believed in Isa alayhi salatu was salam uh, people started to differ some 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 of them started to say that he was uh, uh, God himself he because he was able to bring people back from from death to life or he can give life to a, to a, a fashion bird or he can uh, heal the uh, blind he would just wipe over the the eyes or wipe over the legs uh, or the body of a leper and 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 again again they would be totally uh, and fully healed subhanallah it's it's really uh, it was it was amazing and uh, yet they uh, uh, very very few listened to him indeed and followed his path and answered his call to uh, worship Allah alone and not to associate partners and to lead a decent life in this life uh, that was Isa ibn Maryam, but we talk about so many things in the future, inshallah, in the uh, second uh, part of uh, the story of Isa alayhi salatu wasalam. We can talk about um, the uh, miracles he performed. We can talk about uh, how he was received and who supported him and what happened to the uh, uh, table spread or al maida uh, this uh, uh, feast that was brought from heaven to uh, his own people and how he was raised and what happened with his own people. All of these things, inshallah, will be the subject of the coming part, inshallah. But for today, I think I need to stop here and uh, I ask Allah the Almighty subhanahu wa ta'ala to uh, make us uh, benefit from these stories and know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is uh, powerful and he has power over everything and he creates and he can change uh, the laws um, that he uh, set in in this life just for the believers um, and according to his own will subhanahu wa ta'ala to make things to, to prove to people or to at least um, make people um, you know uh, know that the the knowledge and ability and power of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, I say this and ask Allah for forgiveness. If I make a mistake, it was from me and the shaitan. And if I say something right, it is from Allah. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen.